Bristol City may have just finished their season, but the long-expected busy transfer window uh, is well and truly underway for Bristol City as uh, they have announced uh, the new Chief Executive Officer at Ashton Gate, obviously replacing Mark Ashton as the CEO at Bristol City, as well as 11 of the 13 out-of-contract players uh, are set to depart from Ashton Gate uh, over the summer. And I'm going to be bringing you all the news uh, we have learned from Bristol City this afternoon. So let's start by talking about probably the biggest, the most important news that broke this afternoon. The 11 uh, players that will be leaving Bristol City uh, after the conclusion of the 2020-21 Championship uh, season. The 11 that are leaving consists of the likes of Nathan Baker, Famara Jeju, Jack Hunt, uh, Jamie Patterson and Liam Walsh. Uh, there are only just a, a few of the uh, 11 that are set to leave uh, Bristol City. Um, in a, a post on the Bristol City website, City said they would like to thank the following 11 players uh, who have been released following the end of their contracts. Uh, you can obviously see all 11 on the screen uh, now. Uh, also, discussions with Danny Simpson and Andreas Weiman are ongoing to extend their stays at Bristol City. Obviously, they're the other two uh, making up the 13 that are out of contract at this uh, at this season City manager Nigel Pearson said I've spoken with each departing player and wish them all well in the next stage of their careers uh, we are ent re entering into a significant transition period for the club and central uh, to that is deciding which players can take this club forward uh, the first element of that is largely done and now it's lo about looking forward uh, to who we can bring in as well as build towards next season City would also like to thank Stephen Sessignon as well uh, who, after the end of his loan this season, has returned back to his parent club, uh, Fulham. You can also see on now a few of the other uh, things going on. So, obviously, we've got Stephen Sessing returning to Fulham. Uh, Danny Simpson and Andres Weiman, uh, obviously, contract discussions are ongoing. So, we could see a uh, maximum of 13 players uh, leaving due to the end of contract. Now, uh, here's the players that are still under contract heading into next season that we have at the moment. Uh, players over the age of 24, we've got the likes of Daniel Bentley, Thomas Callas, Taylor Moore, Adam Nash, O'Dowder, Palmer, Viner, uh, Wells. Uh, they're just a few of them. And then we have nearly a whole page of players under 24 as well that obviously will be making up a lot of the uh, squad uh, next season with obviously Nigel Pearson saying he does hope to bring in a, a few more experienced players over that age bracket of 24. Um, so the players under 24, we've got the likes of Back, uh, Backinson, uh, Masengo, Semenyo, that we've seen a lot of this season, uh, as well as the likes of Lewis Britton, Tommy Conway, uh, Harvey Wells Richards as well, that have been also smashing it down in the under 23s, as well as Jada Silva uh, as well, that obviously, sadly, we haven't seen a lot of this season uh, due to injury, but uh, obviously a very good uh, defender and we'll hopefully be able to stick with him. So I'll, I'll put a, a picture on screen now of obviously all the players uh, that we'll have next season at the moment. But obviously Nigel Pearson did say as well, we'll be looking to bring in some more players uh, heading into uh, next season. And with the 11 players departing, I think that will definitely uh, be needed. Also then, uh, today was uh, the news of the new CEO at Bristol City. Uh, Richard Gould has been appointed uh, the club's new chief executive officer. Uh, he is a former uh, person in the British Army, um, as well as uh, also being a CEO at uh, Surrey County Cricket Club. Uh, he's been the CEO there since 2011. Bristol City said in another post on their website, uh, the 51-year-old will arrive at Ashton Gate in mid-June and uh, club chairman John Lansdowne said, uh, Rich has the right skills and qualities we need. Uh, he has a sport, military and business background as well as a strong local connection and we have no doubt that he is the right person to lead this club forward. Richard uh, said, I'm really excited to be returning to Bristol City and the area. I understand the scale of ambition and also the energy required uh, to fulfil that. This is a lot of hard work ahead and I am going to be looking forward to meeting the challenges we face alongside Steve, John, Nigel and the rest of Bristol City Football Club. 
So obviously he uh, did work for Bristol City as the commercial director between two, June 2001 and June 2005 before going over to cricket where he started off by joining Somerset County Cricket Club for five years as the CEO and then moving to uh, Surrey County Cricket Club as well. So today we've had the news broke that I've got 11 players departing, new CEO, so there's been a lot of news uh, on this Friday afternoon here at Bristol City. But now, uh, just to end off uh, this video, let's just talk a little bit about um, some of the transfer rumours that have broke over the last few weeks. So then with transfer rumours, obviously, we don't know uh, how true these are. I'm just going to go off of what I have read and uh, the sources that uh, the rumours have come from. Firstly, Bristol City captain Thomas Callas departed for the European Championships this week and many reports, including Bristol Live, uh, have learnt that uh, as heavily rumoured, the captain did have a disagreement in training with uh, Nigel Pearson, his manager, uh, uh, last week, I do believe that was. And later on in Bristol Live's article, it was said that they understand that neither Callas or Nigel Pearson does hold a grudge over the incident. The relationship is not dam damaged, and the 27 year old centre back and his manager uh, have both moved on from the incident. That is being reported from a lot of uh, sources over the last week or so, uh, but obviously the main one is Bristol Live, uh, which obviously the local uh, news report. Uh, sport report and obviously Bristol City's um, main sports reporter if you like in Greg McGregor and uh, Bristol Live did report that. Now uh, as a uh, transfer rumour it's Alex Pritchard I obviously talked about this a few uh, months ago with Matt Withers um, over the January transfer window periods and Alex Pritchard is a 28 year old midfielder former Tottenham and Norwich player before joining Huddersfield back in 2018. Bristol Live again I uh, believe Bristol City target Alex Pritchard is available on the open market after Huddersfield Town confirmed the release of uh, the midfielder. However, it's unclear whether Nigel Pearson uh, would like, uh, wants to uh, pursue a deal for the 28-year-old uh, midfielder. Pritchard has been on the radar of the Robins recruitment team for much of the 2020 to 21 uh, season due to his expiring contract in Yorkshire. Uh, and Yorkshire and Bristol Live understand he ha was offered uh, to City in January for a cut price permanent deal. Uh, but City, obviously back then with Dean Holden in charge, rejected the chance to sign him given his expected availability as a free agent in June. Uh, and obviously the summer transfer window and the fact uh, that the club were reasonably well stocked in uh, the midfield attacking areas. Um, before obviously all of this um, transfer rumours with the likes of um, <clears throat> with the likes of Jamie Patterson uh, leaving uh, this um, uh, th this summer on Tuesday Huddersfield confirmed that Pritchard um, is one of the nine players who will be released at the end of June once their contract expires leaving the door open uh, for City to engage in talks. There's also been a lot of rumours uh, around Sheffield Wednesday, obviously relegated to League One after a disappointing season for them. They've got some very good players like Barry Bannon, Adam Reach, um, as well as a few other good players that I expect will be looking for a move uh, to, uh, obviously, uh, the Championship after their relegation. And um, I have seen a few reports that uh, Bristol City could be interested in the likes of Barry Bannon um, and, and, and Adam Reach, uh, but obviously there's been no um, full reports from the likes of Bristol or Yorkshire Live at the moment, except that um, on Yorkshire Live, obviously, that uh, clubs will definitely be interested in the likes of Barry Bannon, uh, who is a proven championship um, player. That's all from me today, then. Um, obviously, we've had a very busy Friday uh, at Bristol City and obviously, especially me making this video, I had to go through a lot with obviously um, the list of players who will be leaving and uh, Richard Gowd appointed as the City CEO as well as just a few transfer rumours I thought I'd chuck in at the end of this video. So if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss any more transfer news here on the Robins on Tour YouTube channel. If you could subscribe on the road to 600 subscribers, um, so that would be much appreciated if you could. As I said before, obviously a lot of these transfer rumours aren't 100% and never are 100%. And um, these are just what I've seen uh, over the reports on the internet as well as um, 
obviously the reports from the likes of Bristol Live and Yorkshire Live as well. Um, but if I do get any more reports uh, from anyone, uh, I'll, it'll be interesting to see if uh, this Alex Pritchard rumour uh, does go through at all, and especially the, the Sheffield Wednesday players as well. I'll be keeping you all updated here on the Robin Hill Tour channel over the summer transfer window. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Come on, you Reds.